Hello and welcome to another tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Amazon affiliate ads on your WordPress site. Here is my site about dog training and I've set up Amazon ads to automatically display on the sidebar and also within the post. So let's take a look at an example here. You can see I have the sidebar and this right here, this is called a search ad and it is constantly updated with whatever keyword I choose, like dog training right here and down here. So this right here is recommended ads related to the topic of this website or this post in particular. So as you can see here, it's all related to dog training. Let's take a look at another example with another post. You can see right here, the sidebar, we have a couple of different items compared with the previous post. And down here with the native ad for recommended products, it's different this time. And you only see one row instead of two rows. So this is pretty neat because it keeps it interesting and fresh every day, all the time. Okay, now let's take a look at inside of the Amazon Affiliate Program Dashboard. And today I'm only gonna be talking about the product banner and native shopping ads. If you want to learn more, you can check out my other Amazon affiliate tutorial playlist for more details on things like how to create tracking IDs, how to do product advertising API, one link, and international Amazon affiliate program. Okay, heading back to the banner ads. So right now I'm in the product linking menu and banners, this is what it looks like, the banners and I don't really use the banners because it's not targeted and it's not really relevant or fresh. It's basically a banner advertising Amazon and not to a specific keyword. And here are some general categories, not really specific, such as let's look at pets right here. And it will give you a bunch of banners with pets and Realistically, if you see a banner like this, it's not saying much. People are not gonna click on just a banner that says pets. So it's not really interesting. So I never use the banners, but if you do uh, wanna use it, all you have to do is copy this and then paste it into your WordPress sidebar or post, which I will show you guys how to do in a little bit. Let's go to the actual native shopping ads, which I really like and use all the time. So it's under product linking menu right here. Click on native shopping ads and you will arrive here. And now there's three types that you can choose from. Let's take a look at the first one, the recommendation ads. So the recommendation ads are actually these ones right here. And they're actually pretty similar to the search ads, but the recommendation ads are a little bit uh, bigger. There are more products you can show and it's actually relevant to the content of the website or the web page. To create a new recommendation ad, all you have to do is create a name for this ad. It could be anything you like. Okay, so I got a name here, dog training bottom post. That's just to tell me that it's going to the bottom of each of my posts. And next, select your tracking ID. So from this drop down menu, just select whatever tracking ID uh, you like to use. And then next, the ad format. I like the grid because it shows more products and it looks nicer and cleaner. But here's what it looks like for a list. As you can see, it, there's no pictures, so that's not really eye-catching. And then there's the strip, which only shows two products. So more products, I like more products. But anyhow, that's my preference. Now, emphasis categories. This is a native shopping ad for recommendation ads, which is relevant to your content, but you can emphasize a particular category if you like. For my site is dog training, so it's related to pets, but then there's also books and videos, so you can also select those as well, but I'll just keep it at pets for now, the pet food and supplies. And again, you can select multiple categories if you like, and a fallback, mean that if your post contains like a bunch of images or videos with no text for the Amazon ads system and they, they don't know what your content is about since they can't read images or videos or just your content is so confusing they don't know what to display in their ads, you can have a search keyword here 
and this way it will automatically show ads relating to a specific keyword so right here dog training if the system cannot find any ads it will display products relating to dog training and let's check out the advanced settings show interest based ads yes it's on default already ad sizes responsive mean that if there's different screen sizes mobile devices ipad desktop computers laptop it'll be responsive it'll just adjust to the appropriate size so leave that on by default anyways and by the way uh, this is the preview right here this is on uh, desktop preview and you can also click here to do a mobile screen preview so instead of a row of four items it's showing two rows with two columns so that's what responsive means okay let's click on the save and view ad code okay let's copy this right here and you don't need to worry about the ad loading preferences it's on by default the the recommended ad loading method anyway so let's keep it like that so let's copy again and go to your WordPress dashboard I'm using a plugin called ad inserter and you can install it directly from here plugins add new search for ad inserter up here ad inserter and you will see ad inserter ad manager and AdSense ads 200,000 active installation five star reviews so this is the one you want remember that one I already installed and activated for those that need to install it just click on there will be an install button like this right here click on that and then there will be an activate button and then click on that and it will be activated all right once you have it installed and activated go to the settings right here and then click on add inserter okay this is what it looks like basically there's 16 different block ads so right now I'm in block one which is uh, I can insert one type of ads so let's paste in the Amazon ad code that we just copied and then let's go down here and basically you want to install this ad or set this ad up on all of your posts or you can do it on pages as well but let's just do post right now so you check the post box so all your blog posts will display this block one ad and then where do you want to insert this ad after the content before the content so if I choose before the content let's just choose that as an example right now and then let's do a save right here save settings okay settings save let's go back to my post so right now it's at the bottom but if I choose at the top let's do a page refresh okay now it's at the top so that's up to you you can decide where you want your ad to show but usually I like it at the bottom after content or after post you can play around with that but and then there's also other types where you can insert it for example after a paragraph so after first paragraph insert this ad or after the second paragraph you can also do after an image so after the first image or whatever image if there's only one you can insert the ad right after that image so you can play around uh, with those settings so let me save real quick and if you choose you can also do two ads so let's click on number two right here now we're on block number two and you can insert another ad another banner ad or whatever ad you want another Amazon ad and then you can insert it to post and then insert at the top so before content or before post that's up to you and this way you will have uh, two ads one at the top and then one at the bottom so that's how you do it if you want to set up that way now let's go back to the Amazon okay here in the native shopping ads let's click on search ads so this is a little bit different and this is what I'm using for at the sidebar right here so all of my ads is gonna show up on every single post and at the sidebar for every single page or post so that's the search ad at the sidebar you can use the search ad at the bottom of the post top of the post you can mix and match whatever different type of ads you want but that's just uh, for my site in particular anyhow it's kind of similar to uh, set up your ads select the tracking ID from up here and then 
here same thing you can select a different ad format I, I like the grid and you can choose a default category or leave it on all Amazon so for my dog training again I can choose the pet food and supplies and then default search term just like that and then show the title like if you want to change the title you can do that here shop dog training products and then down here in the advanced settings let's scroll down it's kind of similar options responsive and if you want to show the search bar so this is the search bar right here so this is a good option i think for visitors to see just in case they they, they see these products and they're interested they looked but they, they want to find out something a little bit more specific or they can just type in whatever that they're interested in and then search and then be taken directly to Amazon let's go back here search bar placement you can do it below so right now it's below or you can place it at the top so up here so that's up to you and here is the actual code so let's copy this and I like to insert that into my widget or sidebar so you go to appearance and then head to the widgets and everybody's theme may have a different layout different look you may have a left sidebar a right sidebar two sidebars a footer only so and so it's different but how you set it up is very similar all you have to do is find this text widget and then just drag it to sidebar footer or whatever you want and then click on text right here let's dismiss that notice and then paste in the Amazon code just like that and you can give this a title if you want let's click on save head back to your site so right now at the very bottom I have nothing but I just added that Amazon ad so let's refresh the page real quick okay so here it is underneath my tags widget there is my new Amazon need of ads for with the search bar so that's pretty cool and there's one more native ads called the custom ads so let's click on that and I'm not using this in particular because I like my ads to be fresh and always updated with different products to keep things interesting for my visitors otherwise if your blog is about a particular product and very specific and you don't want other kind of ads to show up you can add a very specific item and it will display as an advertisement on your site so you need to add a minimum of four products so let me show you how that works real quick let's go to uh, over here and search for dog training again and let's click on the go button and here you will find some products so if you have a more specific products like dog training clicker and a different brand or some kind of brand that you want to use such as pet safe clicker dog training clicker so we can add that so my site talks about this particular brand or only about dog training clicker then I would click all these clickers and then this way only these four products will always show up in my banner ads on my site if I choose to do so and then you would copy this right here and then either display it as a widget or use the ad inserter that I showed you earlier that's how you set up Amazon native ads on your WordPress site I hope this helps let me know if you guys have any questions comments and be sure to check out my tutorial playlist for more Amazon tips tricks and tutorials and be sure to subscribe to my channel how to webmaster for more marketing tutorials and reviews thanks again and until next time happy marketing